Let's look at the valid and invalid argument forms that use all. Here's an example of one of the most basic valid argument forms. All monkeys love bananas. Rico is a monkey, therefore Rico loves bananas. Structurally, it has the following form. All A or B, X is an A, therefore X is a B. In the propositional logic course, I talked about the semantics of categorical claims like this, and I recommend checking that out for a more detailed discussion of categorical claims. Here, I want to point out that the A's and the B's in this argument don't refer to whole claims. They refer to categories or classes of things. In this example, A is the category of monkeys. B is the category of things that love bananas. Lowercase letters are used to refer to individual members of a category. So Rico, an individual monkey, is represented by a lowercase x. Now note the directionality of the inference. If x is a member of the category A, then I can validly infer that x is also a member of the category B. But I can't go the other way. Here's an example of arguing backwards with all. All monkeys love bananas. Sammy loves bananas, therefore Sammy is a monkey. This is obviously invalid. If you grant that all monkeys love bananas and you grant that Sammy loves bananas, there's no reason to think that Sammy has to be a monkey. Lots of things other than monkeys love bananas. Note that what makes the argument invalid has nothing to do with being a monkey or being a thing that loves bananas. Any argument that has this form is going to be invalid. What makes it invalid is the relationship between the categories that is being asserted and the relationship of the individual, x, to the categories. Here's another valid argument that uses all. All tigers are mammals. All mammals are warm-blooded. Therefore, all tigers are warm-blooded. The only difference between this argument form and the first valid form we looked at is that the second premise isn't a claim about an individual. It's another generalization. This argument has features similar to reasoning in a chain with conditionals. But here we're reasoning in a chain with all. And like the conditional, the inference is directional. You can argue forward, but you can't argue backward. Here's a backward version. All tigers are mammals. All mammals are warm-blooded. Therefore, all warm-blooded things are tigers. Clearly an invalid argument. I'm warm-blooded and I'm not a tiger. There are lots of other combinations we could go through, but these are the basic valid and invalid argument forms using all that you should know.